original Pizza Palooza of West Bridgewater. Um, we've invited all the local um, restaurants that sell pizza and pizza establishments to come together and give samples of their pizza tonight. And everyone in the community can come and vote and um, cast their ballot to see who is their favorite for West Bridgewater. It's to benefit the West Bridgewater Youth Football Association. Um, and we've had, we're such a small town, and it's been a struggle without the high school fields. We've had to go out of town. We, have, we didn't have home games for a year. Um, we had to outsource at Bridgewater State University last year um, so we could have home games. Um, so we needed to figure out a, a, a unique way to, to raise some money for the, for the, for the league. Every so. year there are uniform costs that change. Uh, they need to recertify helmets and purchase new helmets. The cheerleading group as well, they need to now have a coordinator, so we're hoping to raise some funds to help reduce the cost for some of the parents. We need, um, we're actually sending out um, 57 helmets to be recertified this year, um, which is a big cost to us. Um, so that safety is number one, we have to do that, so that's going out. Um, practice pants we need for the football players. Um, the cheerleading um, part, they were talking about hiring a um, choreographer um, for their routines this year, so some of the money will help with them getting their routines down pat this year. We have nine pizza places here tonight. Um, we went out of over the border just because we're such a small community. We weren't sure who would say yes and no, so we wanted to make sure we had we had enough pizza places. So we have um, Papa Gino's is from Bridgewater, um, and Viking Pizza is from East Bridgewater. The rest are West Bridgewater establishments. And we wanted to keep them close enough so that if they have to run back and forth to get more pizza, it's not a far distance to go. So we had suggestions for other places, and we might include them next year, but for now we want to keep it local. I actually, I don't have a favorite in town, so I hope to get in there and, and get some samples so I can decide too. <laughs> I was a Papa Gino's girl growing up. I worked there for a number of years in high school and into college, so that was uh, by default my favorite. But um, now we live very close to Zorbis, so for right now that it's been Zorbis, so we'll see if that changes tonight as well. Personally, I like the, a thin crust <laughs> and a very melted cheese on mine. Well done. Yep, a little more well done, a little crunchy. Um, but a tasty crust is important, so flavor is, is definitely key. To me, a good pizza has a crust that is chewy, but on the edges it's crunchy. And a little, little burnt on the edge. <laughs> what do you like? I like, for me, the pizza, the crust is the most important thing to me for the pizza. It needs to be chewy and crunchy. And there needs to be a nice blend between the sauce and the cheese. I think what makes a good pizza is more of a, you know, you can hold it, you can fold nice crust to it, and the four cheeses, that's what I think makes the best pizza. Well, it's a combination of everything, but the water in West Bridgewater makes the best pizza, honest to God. When it comes down to soups, salads, I mean, I'm sorry, soups and sauces, it's the water, and West Bridger has excellent drinking water. And that's, that's the main ingredient. It's a lot of things, the prep time, the ingredients that you use. Uh, you have to use fresh ingredients all the time. You can't use frozen. I mean, it, it makes a big difference. The sauces, the spices that you use, the time that you put into it. There's a lot of things that the, some some people think it's it's easy. You know, you can make it, put it in the fridge, and use it three days later. You can't. It has to be made fresh. Otherwise, it's it's no good. It's not. You can tell. It, it, it's like it's like buying a frozen pizza at the supermarket as opposed to making it yourself. It's always going to be better when you make it yourself. Fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients makes the key pizza. A combination of all three: fresh dough, fresh pizza sauce, and the best pizza blend cheese you'll ever have. Yeah, Three key to a good pizza. The chef and the pizza maker are who you want to talk to. Those are the two you want to talk to. Secret ingredient, Uncle John makes the pizza. I got the best chef around. It's the key ingredients. Fresh dough, fresh sauce, fresh mix of cheese, and a lot of hard work. And seasoned pizza pans. start of an annual event and it'll just get bigger and bigger every year so we've really almost surpassed our expectations for this year at this point and we're only I don't know, five almost at 5 30 at night and it's yeah. going to seven o'clock so yeah we're we're pretty we're excited happy. yeah <laughs> website is wbwildcats.com um, we also have a registration here tonight 
Um, hopefully some people can stop by and get information tonight. Um, but like I said, online, um, there's contact information on there as well.